Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,227. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1,226 to 1,227 and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we have some data points here, and we need to conditionally format them. So the min value in this data set I want yellow, the max I want red, and then I want to do something tricky. I want to find the first number bigger than 0 and color it green. Now, another way to think of this is find of all the values greater than 0 the min value. And that's kind of be the structure of our formula. Now, for min and max, we can use built-in features. So you highlight the whole data set. And on the home ribbon, conditional formatting, we have top and bottom rules. I'm going to do the max first. So I'm going to say top 10 items. And I'm just going to change this to 1. Now, I don't like that formatting. You can already see it's working, though, for this built-in formatting. I'm going to click the drop down and go to Custom, because then I have full control. I can go to any one of these tabs. I'm simply going to say, hey, the fill is red. And since red fill is kind of a dark value, I'm going to go to Font and change the font color to white. Click OK. Click OK. And just like that, boom. If I were to change this to 50, instantly that conditional formatting is dynamic and will update. Now I'm going to Control Z. Now let's do the min. Highlight home, conditional formatting, top and bottom rules. And there it is, bottom 10 items. I'm simply going to change this to 1. I'm going to change that default down in Custom. And all I'm going to add is, hey, let's do Fill Yellow. Click OK, click OK. And so we can see we have all of our zeros. If I change this to minus 5, instantly it updates. That is beautiful. It's kind of like Christmas tree lights turning off and on. I'm going to Control-Z to undo that. Now, the next one. I don't know of a built-in feature to do this, so we're going to have to use a logical formula. And I'm going to build this logical formula off to the side. See the patterns of trues and falses, because the way conditional formatting is applied is each cell gets a logical test that comes out true or false. So we actually need to isolate all the numbers greater than 0, and then from all those values, take the minimum value. And if you look through the data set, it looks like 1 should be highlighted. All right, so here's how we're going to do it. We would like to say, hey, give me the min of all these. Oh, but that's not going to work. If we had negatives, it would give me those. It, right now, it would give me the zeros. So we need to, from all the values in A2 to A16, take all of the values out that are 0 or below. Or another way to think of it is just get the values that are greater than 0. Now, I'm going to lock this F4 because we're going to copy this. Again, that won't work. So watch this. We can slap the if function right into our formula. Now we have our logical test, which is the true series of trues and falses. I'm going to say, hey, are any of you in there greater than 0? Now, in the logical test argument, if I evaluate this, and in fact, any formula that has comparative operators, when you evaluate that formula, it delivers trues and falses. Because we have lots of cells here, this will deliver lots of trues and falses. So when I hit F9, there's all of our trues and falses. That false represents that 0 right there. Now again, I'm not going to do not 0 or exactly equal to 0, because we could have uh, negative numbers. We're really interested in all the numbers greater than zeros. All those trues are greater than zeros. All the falses are 0 or below. Control Z. I just evaluated that to look at it. Now we need to comma. And right inside the if, it says, what do you want me to throw into the min if that a logical test comes out true? I'm simply going to highlight all the numbers, hit F4 to lock it. And now we don't need this last argument, because if I leave it out and close parentheses, it will automatically default and put false in, which will be our filter to remove values 0 or below. Now if I highlight this and hit the F9 key, I have my filtered list, 1, 0.5, 4, et cetera. And there are the falses. Those represent the zeros. Or if we had negative numbers, those would be the negative numbers. Control Z. Now this is a special kind of a formula. We did an operation on more than one item. 
that more than one item is called an array of items. So we actually have to use a special keystroke to enter this into the cell. We have to use Control Shift and Enter. When we use Control Shift and Enter, that's us telling Excel that we have just done an array formula. Now look up into the formula bar and you see those curly brackets? Those cannot be typed in. That's Excel telling you that it understood that it was an array formula and copied it down. Now right now, this is a ridiculous formula because when I copy it down, every single cell is going to give me 0 0.05. But remember, we need a tr pattern of true and falses over here to say when we want the conditional formatting applied. So in the top cell, I'm going to hit F2 key to put it in edit mode. And I'm going to say, are you equal to a relative cell reference? And of course, here I'll get false. But when I get to my 0.5, that will get a true. So I have to re-enter this with Control, Shift, and Enter, and double click and send it down. And there I can see only the two cells with the smallest value get a true. Now I need to put this in to the conditional formatting dialog box so in memory it can copy it down and apply the formatting. So I'm going to cheat. I'm going to copy this cell from the very top, Control C in edit mode, Escape. Now I'm going to highlight and go up to Home, Conditional Formatting. And down here I'm going to say New Rule. I'm going to come down and it says, use a formula to determine which cells to format. And down under Format Values where this formula is true, I'm going to Control V. Now here's the amazing thing about conditional formatting. That's an array formula. If we were in the cells, we'd have to use a special keystroke, but not here. We can just use it, and it will understand. So now I'm going to apply this formatting, green fill, font color white, click OK. Click OK, and boom, we have it. If I were to change that to minus 9, instantly I get my min color there. There's the first number bigger than 0, or of all the values greater than 0, that's the min. That is pretty amazing. Control Z to leave it like that. All right, we'll see you next trick.